Welcome to Coal Combustion Inc.'s presentation of calculating the net calorific value for coal. My name is Rod Hatt, and I'm the president of Coal Combustion Inc., where we try to help you understand the business of coal. Now, I've worked uh, over 30 years in the industry as a combustion engineer at a power company, uh, selling coal, a laboratory company, and now I've operated Coal Combustion Inc. for over 15 years. We're going to call this Chapter 3, looking at the ultimate analysis and being able to calculate a net calorific value. Now the net calorific value is the measured gross calorific value from the laboratory in an as-received basis sub minus or subtracting away the energy that it takes to convert the moisture in the coal into steam. And whenever you lower efficiency or impact the efficiency, it does affect the cost of operating a steam plant. Now it takes a lot of energy to convert water to steam. And so during combustion, the moisture in the coal and the moisture formed from the combustion of hydrogen in the coal have to be accounted for because they come in at a cool solid state and leave the gas or the stack as a gas as uh, over the dew point of water. So now without considering a lot of the details we're going to simply look at how much energy it takes to convert all that moisture into uh, uh, steam and we're going to call that the moisture correction. Now, using BTUs per pound, this is what the actual equation looks like. Pretty ugly, but I'm going to try to work us uh, through this. The 1,040 BTU per pound is the energy that it takes to convert a pound of water into a pound of steam. So that's my conversion factor. The percent moisture in this example will be 30%, but it's the total as received moisture in the coal. Now the 9 is a factor that we have to multiply the hydrogen by because the water that's formed from the combustion hydrogen weighs 9 times more than the hydrogen. So we're using the percent as received hydrogen number, but as it turns out, we actually have to take away a correction factor associated with that where we take the percent oxygen as received and divide it by 8 to represent hydrogen that's already bound up in the coal to oxygen and is not available to be burned. So given a typical subbituminous coal of about 8500 as received BTUs, 30 percent moisture, in this case we've got a 4 percent hydrogen and 10 percent oxygen value. If I substitute all those values into that equation this is what it might look like. The first thing we're going to do is a correct for that hydrogen, we get the 1.3 factor from the oxygen, get 2.7% hydrogen, divide by 100, get 0.027. We multiply it by 9 and get a 0.243. That's uh, uh, the number of pounds of, or the percent in pounds of moisture that the uh, hydrogen forms. Add those together, multiply it by that energy, and it looks like in this case it takes about 565 BTUs per pound to convert that moisture in the coal to steam and so a net calorific value of 7935. If we want kilocalories per kilogram we divide by 1.8 and in this case a nice 4400 kilocalorie per kilogram net BTU coal. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and please keep in mind that coal combustion tries to inform people about coal quality and combustion issues. We have a lot of papers and other activities including videos uh, at the coalcombustion.com website. Uh, thank you again so much. Have a great day.